Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper Intermediate System to Intermediate System ISIS Lab Number Four. In this lab, we're going to take a closer look at the metric, wide metrics, and reference bandwidth within ISIS. So let me just go ahead and take a minute to explain our current network topology. We have four routers. They're all logical systems and they are connected with via logical tunnel interfaces. If you're not familiar with logical systems or tunnels, I would watch our Juniper Series 1. We have two videos that are logical systems, labs number one and two, that go over all of everything you need to know. We have that all logical tunnels equal lt-120.xx what this means for example is the connection between router 3 and 4 we have the abbreviation lt.34 that is actually lt-120.34 so we shortened it just so we don't clog up our network diagram with too much detail the networks are between router 1 and router 2 we have the 12 network between router 2 and router 4, the 24 network. Between router 3 and router 4, the 34 network. And between router 1 and router 3, the 13 network. All of the routers have loopbacks. R1 loopback is 1.1.1.1 slash 32. Router 2 is 2222 slash 32. And so on for router 3 and 4. So all of the routers also have the net address of 49.0001.00x0.0x00.0 x00x.00. And if you're not familiar with ISIS, every router has to have a net address in order for ISIS to work properly. So these net addresses, there's one per router. So for router one, you would just replace the X with a one for all of the four X places. Same thing with router two, three, and four. So we're going to go through and initially configure ISIS. So we'll show you where that's done. If you're not familiar with ISIS, we do have videos on Juniper Series 2 that go over the basics of ISIS. That's lab, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, that's intermediate system to intermediate system lab number one, where we explain the basics. We, we go over the net address in detail and some of the more specifics. So let us also let you know that for the interface IP addresses, router 1 is using all the dot 1 in the fourth place or the fourth octet, router 2 is using the dot 2, router 3 is dot 3, and router 4 is dot 4 for all the interfaces. So what we're going to do, we're going to start this lab with the same initial configuration from our OSPF metric and reference bandwidth lab. That is OSPF lab number 10. And the only difference between that initial configuration and this in initial configuration is that we are using encapsul the encapsulation in which we're using 